education instills cleanliness. Ashok is the class leader of 7th standard. Their teacher is very particular that everyone should attend the prayer in the morning. Missing, it would lead to serious punishment. That day, Ashok finds that Murali has not attended the prayer. Murali, why did you skip the prayer? You know our teacher is very strict about it. Before Murali could answer, the teacher enters the class. Ashok, did everyone attend the prayer meeting today? Sir, except Murali, all came for the prayer. What Murali? Is it true what Ashok says? Did you stay away from prayer? The whole class is eagerly waiting to see Murali being punished. All in the class, except few, are very jealous of Murali, who studies well, behaves well, speaks well. His handwriting is neat. He keeps his books neat. Murali, you know, whoever misses the prayer will be punished. Before giving you the punishment, I would like to know why you stayed away. I came to the class in time only. But the others have already gone for prayer. So I kept my books inside the classroom and was about to go when I noticed that the classroom was in shamble with dust, rubbish and what not. The whole place was dirty and unhygienic. You have told us that cleanliness is next to godliness. The boy who is in charge of cleaning did not do his duty. So, I cleaned the room and could not attend prayer. Since you have taught us dignity of labor, I volunteered to tidy up. If I have done something wrong, please pardon me, sir. I am ready to accept any punishment by you. Murli, you have done a wonderful job. If everyone thinks and acts along your views, our school will become famous. I am very proud to have you as my student. There is no punishment. He was highly appreciated by the teacher who again points out Murali as a model to be copied by all the others.